let's go. Let's get back to the Lakers. What do they do? If they, they, I mean, I, I do feel they have to make a, co- a, a coaching change. I just, but you know, uh, someone tweeted today, you know, they heard it's Braun's last game of purple and gold. I don't buy it personally from when he came to LA, you know, I told you all about this, you know, a little, little insider reporting, like, you know, the family did high school tours, picked the correct high school for their kids. He moved his family to, 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 Mm -hmm. he said, my job and the family are going to be in the same spot. To me, he did that for the rest of his career. And I'll tell you the the family's not moving. They are not going back to fucking Cleveland. Okay. (laughs) They are Southern Californians, brother. Like Bryce is not going to go hoop at St. Vincent St. Mary's. <laughs> it's not going to happen. I'm sorry, Cavs fans. I know we got a couple of hardcore Cavs fans too, who are really into it. I think the family staying in LA, I don't see that man moving away from his family for half the year right now. I just don't see it happening. So uh, I think he's in LA. Yeah. And I think we can't let this be the way this dude goes out. Bro. I mean, it just can't like <laughs> as a sport, not even as like Lakers fans, as a sport, we owe Braun a better shot. Like Steph and, and Clay and Dre, they had their shot. They still got the coach. They got the core together. They got to run the base out. You know what I mean? Kobe, we signed Kobe to a $450 billion contract when he was over the hill and he knew he was over the hill. We Braun needs something to ride his career out in LA. And that thing can't be signing his son. It has to be getting him a coach and a fucking real team, bro. Yeah, he's coming back. He's going to do one of those one-year, then second-year player option type deals. No question. He's, he, he'll be back. I don't, think it, I don't think it ends 21 seasons. I don't think it ends what we want it to end, though, brother. I think it always ends nasty. You know what I mean? Like, Kobe went out. That was, he went out nasty. It was nasty. Bro. It was nasty. I mean, he went out with the 60 ball. Had me crying into my Buffalo Wild Wing, right. but it was the the, the the season was nasty. Yeah. The game was incredible. Yeah, well, was nasty, I mean, you know Bron hasn't hasn't Jordan, hasn't hit. Bron hasn't Jordan, fucking hit. You know, a decline yet though. Really, I mean, he's the, he's not peak Bron, of course, but he's, he's still he's a decline. But it's a, it's a Bron. Yeah. 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 He, he, he went from the best seen. player in the world to the fifteenth best. It's a thirty the 12th point best per player game in the world, season. Right? Dec- you know, still but, playing. Yeah. Right? I mean, yeah, and uh, and as he's declined, I mean, his like his jump shots gotten better. Like he's added other elements oh, man, to his game, game right? Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I I would say I don't think he's declined. I just think the gas tank is smaller. Right, like yeah. that—that—that's that, that, just getting, it. He's getting dunked on by Murray now, and it wouldn't happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Murray finishing with the teardrop when that shit would have been in the 18th row. You know what I mean? A little different, yeah. but it's still effective. You feel me? Well, assuming they change the coach, everyone's also been talking about like get a third star. They need that offensive shit don't work help. no more, like, what bro. Is... You you two stars and build that's a solid. 2000, that's 2010, bro. You saw what <laughs> with the, no, you what, what happened with the. I assume you guys. What happened with the Suns? Don't want Trey we don't want the, we don't, right? Oh guys no, don't what happened with the Suns? I don't. I'm just no. trying to trigger Trey, you. Right Trey now. Young is an incredible player and will be terrible. <laughs> it will be a terrible fit for this team, bro. No. I, you just think you say Trey Young? <laughs> <laughs> That's nasty, bro. Get us a new coach. Build out a solid squad around two gods. Okay. Get That's KCP back, bro. Like that's the problem has not been the the proximity of a third star. The problem has been go get Bruce Brown, go get KCP, yeah, go we need, get yeah, like, we need, be, yeah. because let's be honest about Bruce it. Brown would be so good. I know. Lakers. Yes. But let's be honest about it. Think about the, the, the Lakers dynasties that we saw. Go get Derek Fisher and Derek Robert Fisher. Ori, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. like that's what you need. And the Nuggets have all those dudes. They have four of the five dudes like that in the league, bro. They, they <laughs> just like, like they have, the, they have some. The Wolves dog. got one yeah. in common. I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean yeah. shit. The, the, I think the move that made the Nuggets, of course, Jokic is the best player in the world. Murray, they're the best dude in the world. The move that made them a champion was picking up Aaron Gordon, bro. Period. Like, he, Period. you know, come, that come was a postseason. Huge steal, yeah. That yeah. was a steal, bro. You know what I mean? They got what a, a, a guy you're, you're that was exactly the face right, of a Tyler. franchise as like a you know like a tw- for twenty five mil like the fuck like that you're not gonna really find that much though they got lucky with that but yeah they just need like we need guys that if they're not Bron and AD they at least don't make mistakes you feel me like that's that's what you need it's, and it's, and can show up and drop twenty ever so often but what we need is just to not be stupid you yeah. feel me. I, I don't want next season the story of the Lakers to be this year's Bucks and Sun story. I, I would almost rather any other thing happen than you try and shove Trey Young onto this team on some. Let's just see what happens. It's we know what happens. 
with is this not coach, attractive. Where guys don't know, like that's the thing. Like I think we have a decent enough squad where we could have competed like this consistently, right? But like guys don't know what they're supposed to do day in and day out, and that's coaching. Where players look like different players from one night to the next, you well, know, like playing different roles consistently against them. It doesn't make this. I, 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 I want to drill in on what you just said because I know it sounds like we're talking a lot of shit on Darvin Ham, and I know we're all Braun fans, and I know that's the stereotype. Anthony Davis said after a playoff game where they blew a 20 point lead, sometimes on offense and defense, we, the players, don't know what we're supposed to be doing. He said that. And Darvin Ham, who my number one issue with him is not just the like intelligence, how the team's put together. It's the lack of accountability. It's the oh Lakers fans care too much, like that kind of shit. His response was, we'll have to agree to disagree. (laughs) How can you tell the fucking player who are telling you they don't know that you... They're not stupid players either. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, you've got high IQ, defensive-minded players telling you they don't know what they're supposed to be doing. And your response is, we know what we're doing. (laughs) Bro, I think Ant is the best defensive player in the league, and he can do anything on the fucking court. And if, if that dude is saying, bro, I don't know what to do. No one is telling me what I need to do. Like, that's a fucking problem. Bro, how did Ant look with, with Vogel? Like the best defensive player in the world? Like, like, like we were at, like the best two-way player in the world? In the fucking world. And sometimes he just disappears in game one. Absolutely what happened to him in a second half of a game. He's telling you why. Well, we, I just, I just did agree to disagree. <laughs> Bitch, why don't you coach, you big headed motherfucker? <laughs> did you see his face though? When, that, it, 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 when, they, when they asked him about that, it was a look of pure panic. And I said before we started recording, I've been in over my head at a job before, and I know that look. Mm-hmm. I know that look. That look is like, ooh. He said that to y'all. Y'all they heard him got say me. that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want me to? Um, you want me to write a little script in the Excel sheet? Are, are you? You're just gonna stand here while I do it? Do you want to? I could Google it if you go to the bathroom real quick. Like you know what I mean? He's just like, oh, you're just look. It's like when well, you've been caught in a lie and the other person doesn't break eye contact. Like that's <laughs> Darvin Ham's whole coaching aesthetic. <laughs> the 82 game preseason is in the books, and it's finally time for the real season. Don't miss out on any of the NBA playoff action at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. From the playing tournament through the finals, DraftKings Sportsbook has you covered with same game parlays, live betting, odds boosts, and so much more. I still feel like the Nuggets are the team to beat this year, but some of these young squads might make some noise. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code Jenkins. New customers bet $5 and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's code Jenkins only on DraftKings. The crown is yours. We've all had a difficult time buying tickets. Lakers games are expensive, but I try and find games to take my son Vinny to. It's hard to find good deals, especially at the last minute. You shouldn't have to worry when you buy tickets to your next big event. Game time is a fast and easy way to buy tickets for all the sports, music, comedy, and theater events near you. The Lakers have a ton of home games the remainder of the year. I like that in the Game Time app, they have last minute tickets. You can see views from every seat. Game Time is the only ticketing app that gives you complete peace of mind with your purchase. Their all in pricing shows your total upfront, so you know you're getting a great deal before you buy. They also have the Game Time guarantee, which means you'll always get the best price. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code J and J for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code J A N D J for twenty dollars off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. 